Hello and welcome to my next painting tutorial. I uh, just want to thank you all so very, very much for liking, subscribing and commenting on all my previous videos. Um, I absolutely love making them, but I have to say they do take some time. So if you're eager for more, just keep commenting and I'll continue to be spurred on. So on to this tutorial, this time tackling Gimli. I've painted him before for a Fellowship of the Ring that I did, but I wanted a slightly different version for my Durin's Folk Dwarf Army, so I thought I'd turn it into a tutorial just for you. Let's get to it. After a black undercoat, I began with a one-to-one -one mix of scorched brown and red gore for the vast majority of the model. Don't forget the bits of red on his helmet. Not long after that, I layered on red gore leaving some of the darker shade in the crevices. Don't forget his trousers and make sure to leave a shadow near the decorative hem on his front. Once all that's dry, shade the lot with Devlan Mud, Agrax Earthshade or some other earthy wash. Next I painted some metallics, the axe and the armour of various different types in bolt gun metal. Careful on the top of the helmet and don't forget any extra axes and patches of chainmail. There are quite a lot on there are quite a lot of both. Back to some red gore for a highlight, starting to add that feeling of depth to that red clothing. For the axe shafts, I used scorched brown. Now I've got a Gimli with an elven cloak on him, so I painted it in Narlock green, a nice even layer, and just be careful of that ponytail on the back there. Now onto the lovely hair. Bestial brown gives it a nice base coat for an auburn hair. You've got to take a bit of time here. Uh, the beard and ponytail are near lots of places we've already covered, and it really does start to come alive though once you put that brown on the hair. Next I went back to the elven cloak and shaded it with Athonian camo shade to give it some depth. A difficult bit here, the tiny amount of skin on the model on display is his face which I carefully painted in Talarn flesh. Be careful not to catch the beard or as Gimli was put it, not the beard. Now the dwarven gold next, it's hard to see different shades of metal on Gimli in the film but if you look very carefully, there are brassy and gold bits everywhere. So I painted the axe head, but not the blades of it, with Retributor armour gold paint. I also painted the edges of his helmet around the armour, still leaving some silver in the middles with the gold as well, and his belt buckle. Now for another wash, for the hair, skin and gold, a great multi-purpose wash to bring these tones all together, I use Reichland Flesh Shade. The leather straps, I started with dark flesh and also using the same paint I highlighted the axe handles too. I did those highlights in a crisscross pattern to invoke the leather straps on the handle. Then back to the belt for a graveyard earth highlight. Back to that luscious facial hair and ponytail again uh, after the wash, I use vermin brown for a dry brush on top. Then I painted the Hefty Boots Bolt Gun Metal because I forgot to paint them early on. I also would probably wash them with an Agrax Earth Shade or something like that just to add some depth. More hair highlights now with Vomit Brown. Then onto the eyes. I always find the eyes a bit of a pain but they're well worth the effort. Uh, just a bit of white and black of course. Uh, neatened up with a Talon Flesh highlight on the skin as well. 
Now, to really make the clothing pop, I went back for a very, very light highlight with Blood Red. You don't need to do all the red parts, but if you're careful, it does brighten them up. Uh, mainly, though, I would focus on the embellishment around uh, the hem of his kilty type thing. You can do some more lighter highlights here, but I'd be sparing with that blood red paint. I base him with grit, highlighted with grey and whites, and then he's done to enjoy a fight alongside some other Durin's folk. That's it for Gimli. Uh, I'll be back with another painting tutorial at some point. Do comment, like and subscribe. I do intend to get onto some other models in the not too distant future, including an Ent, uh, a Ringwraith, and potentially Aemir and some Rohan stuff later on. Much later on, once I've prepared for a tournament on the horizon. Thanks for watching.